Hello boys and girls. So in the last video, we talked about using the past with was and were. But today, in this video, we're going to be talking about asking questions with was and were. So this is from your pupil's book, page 76. Let's go. So we can use was and were to ask questions in the past. For example, was the book in the school bag? Or were the boys and girls at home? So how can we make a question with was or were? Well, we start with was or were, of course, and then we have the object or objects that we are talking about, and finally, the place. So, one question I could ask, for example, is, was the umbrella in the wardrobe? Or, were the sunglasses in the cupboard? Right? Remember that if you see the S or ES at the end of the object, then you know it's plural, and so we have to use were, right? And also, of course, like I always tell you, if we are asking a question, don't forget the question mark. <laughs> So let's practice. Mm, the watch on the table. Well, we have only one watch, so we know it has to be singular, right? It's going to be, was the watch on the table? Good. The next one, Ooh, this one is missing two words. So let's see, mm, the mm under the sofa. Well, we have the sofa and then we have this object. What is this? It's an umbrella, good. And it's singular, right? There's only one. So are we going to use was or were? Hmm. Was the umbrella under the sofa? Good. And the last one, we. Hmm, the keys in the hmm. Well, let's see. We know keys is plural. We have three keys. So is it going to be was or were? Were, very good. Were the keys in the bath? All right, good. But now, how do we answer these questions with was and were? Well, let's see. Was the umbrella under the sofa? We can say, yes, it was, or the negative, no, it wasn't. Remember, in the question, if we use was, we have to use was or wasn't in the answer. Next question. Were the keys in the bath? Yes, they were. Or the negative, no, they weren't. Here, remember, we have were in the question, so we need to have were or weren't in the answer. One more thing to remember. In the first question, we are talking about the umbrella. Right? It's a singular object. So in the answer, we have to use it. Yes, it was or no, it wasn't. And the second question, we're talking about the keys, which is plural. Can you see the S? Keys. Good. So in the answer, we have to use they. Okay? All right. Excellent. Bye-bye.